Hello Taurus, this is Renee and welcome back. Taurus, this is going to be your next 48 hours, what to expect, what's coming near you in the next 24 hours, excuse me, in the next 48 hours. I don't know why I keep saying 24, I keep doing that. For some of you it may be 24 hours, but this is for your next 48 hour reading. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Okay, let's start out getting some of your energies. Taurus, what's going on for Taurus? Okay, we have perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. We have courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Okay. We have envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Okay, Taurus, I'm really feeling like you're trying to push through a situation. You may have to have a lot of courage. You may have people who are very jealous of your situation. Um, this could be, this is a general reading. This could be in love, in career, finance, um, or in life in general, okay? Um, but I feel like you have a need to feel accepted, to feel wanted, appreciated. Um, and I feel like... You know, people kind of see your outside. Um, they see what's going on on the outside and they may be very envious or jealous of what you have physically or how you look or who you attract physically. Um, but they don't see your inner being. They're not seeing your true self. You know, Taurus, and I, I feel like you're you're really looking for acceptance. You're really trying to accept the cha the changes that you're going through, that may be kind of hard to handle at the moment. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting right now, Taurus. So let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what messages Taurus needs to know for the next 48 hours. What does Taurus need to know, spirits, messages, the next 48 hours for Taurus? Okay. We have, well, okay. We have the strength card. Definitely. Courage, strength. We have the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like you're trying to have the courage, the strength to plant some sort of seeds to, you know, take some, some kind of action. But this is also, the Seven of Pentacles is also like working on your situation working and waiting for the results you know kind of being patient i, I apologize for that loud vehicle i'm trying to be patient in your situation um waiting on some kind of result to come through some kind of information that you need to finish you know, and I feel like we have the full card. I didn't even see this card at the bottom. We have the full card. So I feel like you, you're you anticipating this new journey, this sort of new beginning. This may be a be new beginning in ideas. This may be you needing to take some kind of leap of faith or some kind of inspired action without really realizing what the result may be. You know, just going on the journey. Okay. Um, 
I feel like the results that you're waiting for will be coming, but you just need to have faith. Have that, um, that faith by moving in a direct in a direction, not really knowing where the direction is going to lead you, but I feel like it's going to lead you in a successful outcome. You know, because you have the courage to do so, <laughs> definitely. Okay, yeah. All the clarity, all the truth that you need to come out, all the answers that you're looking for are coming. You will get more clear on the reason why you need to go on this journey. On the reason why these things are happening. You're going to get more clarity. This is your truth. This is, you know, finding that breaking point where everything becomes clear. There also may be some kind of communication that needs to be happening at the moment for you to come into the realization. The reason why um, these things may be happening. And I feel like... I feel like your focus is keeping your strength, keeping your courage up and knowing that you have the ability. Okay, Taurus, you have the ability. Hmm. Okay, let's get a little bit more clarification. At the bottom, we have the Eight of Cups. So there may be something that you may be walking away from in the next 48 hours. There may be something that you're kind of letting go of. You feel like it's not really working. So there may be something that you let go. Okay. Um, let's clarify these cards a little bit. Tell me more. Give me more of a message for... Taurus, sun, moon, and rising, the next 48 hours, please, for their greatest good. Messages for Taurus. Okay, for the strength card, we have the six of swords. Yeah, you're definitely moving away from something. You're moving towards something that you're working on. I feel like There's some kind of action that needs to be taken and that's going to drive you in a certain direction that's going to lead you into more of the answers that you're looking for. Definitely, the work that you're doing is going to be successful. Whatever this is, if this is love, if this is finance, if this is career, whatever you're working on, Taurus, this is going to be successful. You're you're being noticed. This is your reward. And I feel like look at this, the the 6 of swords and the 6 of wands, two sixes, two sixes coming together. You know, that's that is Healing, trust, you know, trusting in your destination, having faith in your journey. You know, the, the sixes represent to me having faith in the direction that you're going. You're on the right path. Okay. Um, card for the full, please. Yeah, the star. You're definitely going in the right direction. You're finding your balance. You're, the the star represents something being renewed. Look at this. A full is a new journey, a new beginning. So something's definitely being renewed within you. Could be the renewal of an idea, kind of expanding on an idea, uh, feeling like miracles are closer than they were before. You know, you could be shifting on the burst of a miracle that's coming forward. Some kind of miracle in your life. Um, also, be in the spotlight. 
You know, the Six of Wands is also being recognized, being rewarded for your efforts, uh, being the the person that's being uh, uplifted, you know, being recognized for your efforts, for the work that you've done. He's coming back from battle, so it, it's a celebration for his victory, okay? With the Ace of Swords, we have the Will of Fortune. So definitely some new ideas, some burst of energy that's turning in your favor. Some kind of good fortune is coming through for you. This is change that's going to bring a turning point of good fortune, good luck, okay? So this is beautiful change. I'm I'm really enjoying this reading so far, Taurus. You you're really you're really on the right path. And I feel like whatever it is, you are doing the right thing. You may be teaching, you may be trying to make a decision or standing on your beliefs. Something that you believe in, you're trying to bring forward. Okay? Okay, let's get another row. For Taurus. What's going on for Taurus? I'm going to move these cards. <clears throat> okay, let's get another row for Taurus. More messages for Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, and Rising, the next 48 hours. Okay. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. So definitely some kind of offer coming in. This may be from more than one person, uh, more than one company, more than one investment or so on. Okay, uh, but we have two offers coming in. And I feel like this, this Knight of Pentacles, this Knight of Pentacles is offering you up stability. It's offering you up some kind of reliable investment for hard work that you've done, okay? And I feel like this, this Page of Wands energy, this Page of Wands energy is coming through. And it, it's a little bit more immature. It's a little bit, it's more at like the new phases. So it's at the beginning of some kind of passion, some kind of interest. But I feel like this page of wands is is bringing through some kind of new ideas, new project, new creation. Something's being created. But I feel like he's also waiting. He's listening. He has his ear to the sky. He's listening for word. Okay? And with the the seven of pentacles they're waiting for the results so i feel like some kind of word that you're waiting for some kind of results that you're waiting for you're going to hear back from that within the next 48 hours I, I feel like some some kind of communication is coming through that you know you've been waiting for someone is going to communicate that to you okay let's get a message for this fool the king of wands this new journey that you're going on i feel like it's something that's going to be very passionate if, if this is love this is someone coming through who's very hmm, very powerful very charming very courageous if this is new love coming in I feel like the King of Wands is going to bring through some kind of spark, intensity, you know? With the, the King of Wands, you know, they're very spontaneous, very optimistic. Uh, but also, they can be very fiery. So, sometimes the King of Wands can have trouble controlling 
their passion. Okay? So, let's take a look. What is this Ace of Swords? The Nine of Cups. So, some kind of wish is coming through for you. Something that you've been kind of manifesting. This burst of inspiration is coming through. And it's like bringing this new inspire action. This new creation. So, so something is definitely coming through that is very exciting. Very bold. And it's all because you had the courage to, to be led in this direction. You had the courage to wait on some kind of results. On some kind of new cycle to unfold okay um <laughs> very interesting okay Th there's several people in this reading so i feel like i feel like you're very popular at the moment taurus because i feel like there's a lot of people coming to communicate with you um maybe giving you several offers maybe several invitations hmm if this is a love reading there's definitely you definitely have options i'll say that okay um tell me more for taurus what is this knight of pentacles tell me about this knight of pentacles okay the knight of pentacles is ten of cups wow the Page of Wands, Hangman, the King of Wands, the Magician, and the Nine of Cups, the Four of Swords. Okay, we have the Two of Cups at the bottom. So definitely some kind of love situation coming through for you in the next 48 hours. Something's going to be intensified. Something is coming through that maybe you least expect it. Maybe, maybe it's something that you're already going through, but you, you're getting these new offers in love. But something is making you very happy. And I'm really liking that this King of Pentacles is bringing you happiness. Because the King, King excuse me, this Knight of Pentacles, because this Knight of Pentacles is, is like, it's slow moving energy, but it's very reliable, very trustworthy, worthy very loyal okay the pentacles is also very solid very grounded so i feel like this not a pentacles energy is bringing you happiness it's like not making you doubt yourself like this page of wands this page of wands he's like not quite sure what the destination will be he may need to change his perspective to get an idea where this page of pentacles is coming from you know um but i feel like the answers will become more clear okay with this king of swords energy wow this is magic this is like manifesting creating what your dreams are made of. Okay. With this nine of cups, we have the four of swords. So this is like a blessing in disguise. This is a blessing that you've been waiting for. That's what I'm getting with this. I feel like after a time of like renewing your, your mind, your you're able to manifest some kind of wishes that you've been bringing through, some kind of desire that you've had. So with being able to kind of go through this restoration process, you're bringing forth blessings, you know? So, I mean, that's beautiful energy as well. Okay. Let's wait. Well, leave these on here let's get a little bit more clarity <sighs> okay taurus give me a an outcome for this message give me an outcome the knight of cups some kind of offer is being made 
And I feel like you're going to choose the right thing, whichever it is. <laughs> the Nine of Cups again. Wow. Okay. And the Judgment card. Okay. At the bottom, we have the Eight of Cups. So some, some kind of work that you've done, you are getting the end results. And the, the Eight of Cups is like mastering something that you're good at. Okay, it's like enjoying the process, enjoying watching it grow, watching it succeed, gaining your success that way. Okay, so whatever the Seven of Pentacles is, I feel like you, you're not waiting very long for the information to come through because you're enjoying the process. You have the Eight of Cups energy. So whatever you were waiting for, I believe you're, you're getting that answer. You're getting the answer to that question or to being rewarded for that effort. Okay. Okay. With this Nine of Cups energy, I feel like someone is bringing you their love offer. Someone wants to give you their cup of love. It may be this, this Knight of Pentacles energy that's bringing you so much happiness. You know, but I feel like this person wants to give you that unconditional love, fulfill you in the way that is going to build you up and um, bring you confidence and security. Okay. Okay. With the justice card, I feel like something's going to be balanced. Something is coming through that is like the, the reward to your effort in a way. Because, you know, the justice card is cause and effect. Whatever you put out there is what you're going to get back. So I believe that what you're putting out there, you're getting back in a huge reward. You're, you're finding that balance, that stability. Some truth is coming out that is going to go in your favor. Okay? Okay. Because you have the Nine of Cups twice in this reading. So something is really being fulfilled that you desire. Some kind of wish that you made. Some kind of desires that you have are being fulfilled. You're finding your contentment. You are... Maybe creating material abundance. Or this could also be you know, gain, regaining your health because we have the judgment card here. So the judgment is like a rebirth after um, making some sort of decision, you know, having a wake up call. Okay. Um, they're like moving out of their comfort zone where they have always been and moving to this new direction, this new journey, kind of being reborn in the situation, a renewal. Okay, so beautiful reading, beautiful reading, Taurus. So I feel like whatever it is that you're working on, you are definitely finding your happiness. You have the, the Ten of Cups, you have the Nine of Cups twice, you have the Fool, you have the Magician. So I, I feel like there's some kind of spark that's happening for you. And this is just a 48 hour period. So I feel like, you know, you are being abundantly rewarded. Spirit is just letting you know, have courage, persevere, you know, keep on your path. Don't let people sway you. Okay. Okay. Let's get some Moonology cards. What does Moonology have to say? Look at the bigger picture. So don't be focused on the little minor details. Look at the picture in whole. Look at the bigger picture. And, you know, focus on the reality that you want to set. Focus on the outcome that you want. Communication is key. So definitely with this Ace of Swords energy, Speaking your truth, having the ability to communicate exactly what it is that you desire, exactly what it is that you want to um, 
let me know. You know? Okay, let's get one more message. And what do you need to release? Okay, at the bottom we have bring love into the situation. Definitely. And I feel like, you know, you have several people in this reading. So I feel like love is not going to be an issue for you, Taurus. But yeah, take a look at what there is that needs to be released in your life. What do we need to release? We all need to release something. So um, whether it be negative people, negative vibrations, you know, what do we need to release in order to push us through to that perfect destination that the universe wants us to go in? Okay. Okay. So Taurus, this is your reading. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And if you need more clarity, take a look at your February readings. You can take a look at your sun, moon, or rising. I have them uploaded on a playlist. So feel free to take a look at those. And it may give you more clarity in your situation. Take a look at your February reading. Okay? So many blessings to you. Love and light.